wait, have you been following this story? You know that movie, The Blind Side, starring Sandra Bullock? So the dude that, here comes Holly. This dog, so disrespectful, stop, stop. Daisy, Holly, stop. Okay, so look. That dude, the kid that was in the blind side, right? He was like a big, um, like a very large black man with like, and he was like a football player or whatever. And um, he was in foster care because his parents were having all kinds of problems. And a white family adopted him down in Florida. And then they like got him into football. According to the movie, he was like, they taught him football. But according to him, he was like, what are y'all crazy? I've been playing football my whole life. But some people have a savior complex when it comes to these things. So they made the movie like, oh, we taught him how to walk and how to see and how to read and taught him Jesus and whatever else, right? So they act like they, they saved his whole life. They transformed his whole life, but whatever. He went on to play football. It was a heartwarming movie. And then um, there's books or whatever about it. Well, this dude recently got married. Congratulations to him. Please know, I don't know nobody's name in this story. Not at all, because I do not follow the sports ball and I don't have the patience to sit through a movie. So anyway, I mean, if it's on my phone, I can watch it and then I'll watch it at 2X speed. But those movies I watch, yeah, all the time. So anyway, this dude got married recently and his what? I have said it before and I will say it again. There is not a woman alive who is not half an FBI agent. If you have a uterus, you are an FBI agent. Whether you have fully realized your FBI agentness or not, it is within you, my sister. And I'm telling you, dig deep and find it. Because this wife was like, hey, baby, um, what's that paperwork your mom and daddy and them sent you? Could send that over here. Wait, how come we don't have no money in these bank accounts? Why are these bank accounts empty? Let me, let me take a look, baby. You, no, 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 no. Go on, cut the grass and, and, and feed the stray cat and go on and do what you're going to do. Let me, just, let me just peruse through this paperwork. Honey, he got married two minutes ago. As soon as he got married, his wife was like, no, what we're not going to do is cheat my husband out of nothing. Not a nickel, not a dime, not a nothing. It was the wife. According to what I heard, and you know, this is all the gossip rumor and the innuendo. It was the wife who discovered that this family had this young man locked up in one of them Britney Spears type conservatorships that he couldn't get out of. And it is the wife who raised the alarm. The wife was like, mm-mm. Nah, this ain't gonna go down. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Y'all thought y'all was pulling one over, and he's no longer a child. He's a big grown behind man. But y'all still getting money, and y'all still getting rights, and y'all still getting all the whatever. And he's just sitting there smiling, pretty happy to have a family. Nah, I'm his family now. I am the captain now. Look, I know some movie references, even though I don't watch movies. But um, this wife was like, oh no, mm -mm, mm -mm. listen. We're going to call 1-800, uh, get these suckers out of my husband's money, and we're going to get Jacoby and Myers or whatever the local lawyers are, and y'all going to take all your, grub your grubby hands off my baby's money. Why are we living here in an apartment? Y'all living in a mansion. Now, I don't know that that's actually what happened. I just made that part up. But this wife took one look at that paperwork, and she was like, no, no, baby, don't sit down. I'm going to take her just boop, 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 boop. Hello, attorney, uh, me and you need to talk. Next thing you know, child, it was press conferences. It was all kinds of situations. And the family was like, wah, oh, oh, wah. Clearly, this is a misunderstanding. Lo, these 20 years that we've been taking his money and running his life. Oh, no, merely an oversight. You can have all your money back. She's like, please and thank you. Listen, what you need, I know there's plenty of people out here don't want to get married. Don't get married then. I don't care. You don't have to be married. What you need is somebody who got who's on your side. Not somebody who pretends like they on your side. Somebody who's just as invested as you are. Sometimes that's a parent. Sometimes not. Because some parents are trash. I'm just saying. Them parents, those adopted parents, clearly trash. Because they never adopted him like the legal way. They adopted his money. And his wife was like, oh, no, no, friends. And she unadopted. As soon as that sister started putting out press conferences and all that, they were like, oh, do we have your millions of dollars? We are so, here's your money back. We're going to sign all the paperwork over right now. You know what she's not going to be at Thanksgiving at their house? She like, that's okay. Because I know how to make a good potato salad and some stuffing and a turkey. We going to have Thanksgiving over here. Now, if y'all want to invite us, that's fine. We're going to go. We're going to smile pretty. We're going to sit. I'm going to show you out my new canary diamond ring. But if y'all want to invite us, so she has no time for their mess. I am here for this new wife. Also, I am here for any woman who uses her direct, her uh, detective skills to move her family forward. Because what you're not going to do is pull one over on a dedicated woman. All right, y'all. I just saw that on the on the on the little TV thing. Now that my massage is over, Lord, I love this massage chair. Okay, um, I'm probably gonna have to get up and do something today. I'm probably not gonna do it.
I'm probably certainly not going to do it in a timely fashion because by now I would have been out to four stores. And right now, still sitting in the massage chair. All right. Y'all have a great day. Bye.